Hello there. Welcome to Green Hat Red Beard Adventures. This video is in regards to a new product that I just picked up. Uh, before I get started though, I want to make two things clear. First and foremost, this is not a paid advertisement. I'm doing this because, well, I love it. <laughs> and the second, uh, the trees that are used for this framework are as was well from a freshly fallen tree. I did not chop down a living tree to do this video. I want to make that very clear. So this video is in regards to my new bushcraft chair. I'm going to show you the packaging in a moment and uh, also do a test drive. This is my very first attempt uh, building a bushcraft chair with this typical, typical material. This uh, particular, I'm sorry, I'm screwing up all, all my words here, but let's just get into it anyway. <clears throat> So the product here comes with, uh, it's going to come looking like this, very small, very lightweight. It's just the material to do the bushcraft chair, the framework as well as the rope used for it. you got to supply that on your own. You can in fact pick up straps because these can be converted into a small like hammock style chair. So it comes with the tag which shows the pictures of what it can look like it also has some technical information which I'm going to read to you shortly and inside the uh, particular packaging there's also the instructions here this one here is for the chair instructions which is what I'm doing now and there's also the hammock instructions as well so I'll give you a quick close-up view of these instructions here now so this is the chair instructions here you can feel free to pause the video to get a more thorough look at it, but it gives you a general idea of what lengths to cut the the uh, tripod legs at, as well as the sidebar. Also, let's flip this around. And this is the hammock uh, chair instructions as well. It gives you a nice little detailed picture with the straps and how to tie the knots and the toggles. And there's a nice little picture right here so this is uh, AmazingWildernessProducts.com uh, <clears throat> Excuse me And this is the from the Econo Challenge There's a YouTube video channel on YouTube of this uh, the Econo Challenge I suggest you check it out, I'll put a link in the description So I tried sitting in it just once only before the video starts I want to make sure I was going to hold up I wasn't sure if the uh, size of the wood was going to be enough in order to uh, hold my weight, so I wanted something of decent size. And luckily for me, I managed to find this tree that was freshly fallen. So this all three pieces here, this is not actually a tripod. I built the, the triangle piece, and now it's leaning up against another tree right here. So let's set it in foot. Uh, you can, in fact, tie these sections down onto the frame. I didn't do that, but uh, so I'm going to lift this up a little bit here just to get inside. Whew. Getting a little bit of a wedgie. <sighs> Jackpot. Oh, that's nice and relaxing. Like I know, I said that just before this video started, I tried sitting in it just to make sure that. It was gonna hold me, but now, just like before, I'm just so I'm just starting to feel so relaxed. I love this thing. It's been so many years since I've built a bushcraft chair, simply because I don't have this material that I'm sitting on to build it with. Um, some people have used hammocks, but I don't want to use my hammock for that. So, anyways, I'm gonna read off some of the material, some of the. Uh, technical information on this for you so that way you get an idea of what's going on with this. So like I said, this is the AmazingWildernessProducts.com, the Amazing Camp Chair. On the back of the pictures, it shows all the technical information in regards to this chair. So it gives you basically the, <coughs> excuse me, uh, one, one piece of ultralight gear offers so many applications, relaxing hammock chair, reclining chair, gear hammock. Oh, speaking of which, gear hammock, I can use that. I can actually use this, set it up like a hammock, and hang my gear at it underneath my hammock when I'm camping. I should have thought of that. 
Uh, let's see, there's a uh, gear hammock, ground sheet, or kayak sail. Never heard of that one. It's made with a durable ripstop, quick dry nylon fabric, triple stitched with heavy duty thread to provide many years of luxurious comfort in the wild. Just add wood. So the technical information in regards to this uh, material is the weight of it is 75 grams or 2.6 ounces. The size is 110 centimeters by 64 centimeters, otherwise known as 43 inches by 25 inches. The material is 100% ripstop nylon, that's good to know. And the weight limit capacity is 300 pounds. Now, when I first checked out this, they had actually set one up a bushcraft chair at the Outdoor Adventure Show, and that's how I found out about these guys. And that's where I got the these chairs. I actually got two of them. This is one, this is the second one here. The pouch for this is actually sewn onto the fabric, so the, the pouch is actually right around my upper back area right now. Um, sorry, what I was saying is that uh, I met these guys at the show. They had one set up. They th Before I even listened to any of the technical information, I just sat right away, right into it. And uh, I'll tell you one thing, it holds more than 300 pounds, that's for sure. Because the guy even told me about how he, him as well as another guy all stood on it at the same time to show everyone how tough and durable it was. And I'm a big, heavy guy. I'm sitting in it, and as you can see, it's holding me just fine, which is perfect for me. I love it. So, <clears throat> like I said here before, as you can see, it's very small, very simple, very, very lightweight. I love it. It fits in the pack perfectly. And I picked up two of them. Uh, this one that I'm sitting in is going to be remaining in my bushcraft <coughs> backpack, while the other one is going to be sitting in my camping backpack. So, I'm going to stick this back in my backpack off camera. I'm going to guys give you guys a little close up on what it looks like. There's my backpack. So uh, this cross piece here is not even tied on. You can choose to tie it on if you wish to. It's actually, uh, if you want it to be a nice perfect hang every time, like I say with hammocks, you can always just tie it on or put a like simple uh, uh, ridge line type thing. Well, what they do with hammocks to, for a perfect hang every time. This, you can actually even, like, raise it up or lower it and then tie it off if you want to. I didn't choose to tie it on, but like I said, this is just a triangle frame as leaning up against a tree. Otherwise, there would be a third rung, go, third leg going down. <clears throat> so what I've done here is that the material has a nice loop right through it, and it's just scrunched together with the paracord that I got tied on here, and it's just tied off with some overhand knots and just looped around this piece here. Nothing, nothing special, but uh, before I leave here, I'm actually going to replace the paracord with something more bigger and more heavy duty, and then leave it on there almost like a permanent. And on down on this side here, it's all one nice sheet of material here, and then down here is the a big loop. Well, speaking of which, the loop on top here is a very small loop, and this one down here is much bigger. So the bigger loop is on the bottom. This is the one you stick the uh, cross piece in. And the smaller one is for the rope, of course. And if you can't see it, this is the pouch right here. It's inside out. So all in all, I love this thing. Like I've been looking for like material to build a bushcraft chair for a long, long time. And I never knew about these guys. And I suggest you guys check them out. They're really awesome. The Econo Challenge, they're on YouTube. I'll put, like I said, I'll put a link in the description of their channel. Oh, and their latest video where they're at the show, I'm, I actually make an appearance in the video too. So since we're talking about hanging things, I thought I'd show you this one, little thing real quick. During the winter, this is my, like I said, this is my Frost River backpack I really love. I really don't want to sit it in the snow, so I decided to rig up a toggle just so that way I can hang it. So this is just a stick. I carved into it a little bit so that way this, the string will slip into that groove. And I just simply just tied it around the tree. So that way my backpack is off the ground and I can just always gain quick and easy access for it and just get my gear out. So anyways, this is Green Hat Red Beard Adventures. I'll see you around till next time. Keep on adventuring. <laughs>